Hello, this is Mistress Lancy Rose, and this is the Strict Punishment Hypnosis Session. Now, let us begin. This file is for you. You are very well aware that you've made a mistake. You've done something wrong, and you need to be corrected, shown to your place, making sure that you remember that you stay in your place, that you listen and pay close attention to what I'm about to say. If I notice your attention wavering for even a moment, I'm not going to be pleased. And I'm sure that you do not want to disappoint me any further. Making a mistake can happen. Doing something wrong is possible. However, you are still responsible for your mistakes. You have to know your place. You need to remember that you listen for a good reason. Now, I don't have to tell you what you did wrong, do I? I don't need to repeat myself. I don't need to lay it all out for you. Because I can tell that you know. You know what you've done wrong. You know the mistakes that you've made. And I know you want to be good. I know you want to even be better than before. So you have to listen. Pay attention. Every passing moment is important. Even the pauses between the words matter. And no matter what you think right now, you will pay attention. Focus. Keep your attention on my voice. Follow my words. The time for making mistakes is past. Right now, it is time to learn, to improve, to grow. And I'm spending all this effort to make that happen because I do believe in you. I think that you can grow, but it requires you to learn. It requires you to pay attention. It requires you to focus and listen to my voice. Make sure that you are exactly where your place is. And the longer you look, the smaller you feel. Maybe. I need to spell it out for you after all that you should kneel when you are punished. Focus, listen and obey. You can feel my hand grabbing the back of your neck. I do not need to raise my voice to let you know that this is serious. In fact, the softer I speak, the more you will focus, paying attention to every word you will focus on me as I make you aware that you have done something wrong. Now this is for your own good. You can still feel the pressure of my hand on the back of your neck. And as you do so, hmm, maybe you should be faced with your own mistakes. I let you stand and walk together with you to a mirror and make you kneel down in front of it, standing behind you. You can see yourself in that mirror, kneeling down with me towering behind you. You can see that I am lowering down at you, where you are, because this is not a moment of pleasure or play. This is not intended to be fun. This is a serious moment. A moment of reflection, a moment of focus, and for my voice, I want you to focus on your own. I want you to look inside yourself and see the mistakes that you've made. And part of the punishment is the awareness of your own mistakes. However, remember that I'm standing right behind you. You are not alone. You are being helped to accept those mistakes, to grow moving forward. This is for your own good. As you remember and accept what you have done, taking responsibility, you will grow. A punishment is intended to help you pay, to repay the damage the mistakes may have caused. And once the punishment is over, 
You can accept and let go. Holding on only to the memories. To learn. To grow. To improve. Because I do not want this effort to put you in your place to be wasted. I want to see you focus on the mistakes that you made so that you can grow from them, avoiding the repetition. Because I think that you're worth improving, that my time, as valuable as it is, counts for something good. You're paying attention, aren't you? You're focused on what you should be doing. Yes, that's right. Perhaps you still feel the strength of my hand on the back of your neck, making you stare at your reflection at the mirror that shows you what you've done. In the beginning, facing yourself might be hard, and this is a form of tough love in a way. This is a punishment, a strict way of putting you in your place, facing you with what you've done. And I want you to focus Seeing each and everything as an opportunity to improve. Do not disappoint me. Grow from your mistakes and make sure that you're listening. You've earned this with your own actions. You deserve to be put in your place and reminded of where you should be. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. From the reflection, you can look inside yourself and allow yourself to accept what happened. I make you stand once again and take you to the center of the room. Once more, Neil, what must you do? And who do you obey? And how much do you obey me? Very good. The strictness I have just shared with you is out of care. I want you to improve and I want you to reflect on your actions in a moment. I'm going to sit next to you from where you're kneeling. And when you're ready, you can simply let yourself sink down onto my lap. And once you are there, you can forgive yourself, letting go and accepting that you can be good, that you want to be good, and that you will be good. And as soon as your head lays on my lap, I will softly caress your hair on your head and let you sink into the state of relaxation, a gentle, soft flow, a moment of recovery after being faced with what you've done and you've done well. I know that you want to grow and I know that you'll do your best to learn from your mistakes and I will punish you if you need it. But also know that I will praise you when you've done well and with the warm feeling of care very much fresh in your mind. One, slowly waking. Two, three, more aware. Four, five, almost there. Six, seven, almost awake. Eight, nine, ten, wake. And I hope you will remember it this time. Deserve to be punished. You deserve to be punished. You deserve to be punished 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 you deserve
deserve to be punished. You 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 deserve to be punished.